showtime. Sunday sermon. I can't say this enough. Always deal with a woman who likes you more than you like her. Now, I'm not saying deal with a woman that you're not attracted to at all. Deal with a woman that, you know, just because she likes you. Of course, you need to be somewhat attracted to her. She might not be your ideal, an attraction, uh, or body, face. But if she does all the things you want her to, and she's attracted to If she goes above and beyond for you, that's the girl you mess with. That's the girl you date. That's the girl you possibly marry. When you are interested in a woman more than she is than you, she will always have the upper hand on over you. It, a man should never cry over a woman, be in tears, be emotional, be running to their homeboys. It's okay for women to cry over men. They're going to sympathize with her. She's a woman. You see women cry over men all the time. <clears throat> they don't catch no flack for that. They catch sympathy, empathy, support from friends and family. But a man crying over a woman... It's looked down upon, look like a, a punk, a simp, a chump. Always. Even the old pimp said it. Fuck with the bitch that fucks with you. Can't be more simpler than that. Like, subscribe, and share the video. If you want a good life, a good relationship, you got to go with the woman who's into you, who will go above and beyond for you, who, if you wanted to, you could almost take advantage of. Not that you should, but you should have that type of superpower or something close to it. You will live a much more happier life. You'll have a much better dating. Because when people are into you, they do things, they're more considerate of you. They think about you when they're not with you. When you have, when, have you ever been with a girl that she just surprised you with little things? Like, I was seeing a young lady. And she'd been over my house a few times. And it was this uh, cereal that I liked. It had uh, dried cranberries in it. I forgot what it was. It was one of those oat cereals with dried cranberries. It was one of those oat cereals with dried cranberries. And she came to my house to meet me or do something for the day. And she brought two boxes of that cereal. Okay, that's thoughtfulness. That type of thoughtfulness will only come from a woman who's into you. The girl that you're into will never surprise you with a thoughtful gift or a thoughtful act of kindness. They're too busy thinking about themselves or they're too busy thinking about the guy that they really want to be with. So if you want a healthy life, always, always, always. People have seen me with girls, different females, and said, oh, she's all right. You could do better. Yeah, I could get a prettier girl and also a better headache. A prettier girl, a sexier girl, more popular girl that I'm going to be chasing. A more prettier, sexier, appealing girl that I'm going to have to work hard or extra hard to keep. Why do you want to put all that work on yourself? Lay back with a, a good six and a half who's really into you. The eight nines and tens are just for pound town. I'm sorry, but they're a headache. Everybody else wants them. Everybody else is trying to court them. And you're going to pull your hair out trying to keep them, please them. They're a little more hard to satisfy. 
You know, you ever get one of those super pretty girls and you get her a gift for Valentine's Day or something and she's not really satisfied with the gift? Or you buy them something and they never utilize it? They never wear it? You know what I mean? <laughs> or they'll match what you bought them with something that somebody else bought them. You know, like, guys, my brothers, my sons, my nephews, <clears throat> my OGs. You gotta rock with the girls who rock for you. For instance, this is a prime example, right? Look what, uh, so my birthday last year when I was in Bangkok in Thailand. You see, I came back to the hotel, surprise, a cake, balloons. The, the room was decorated with my name in balloons, a t-shirt. Now, some would say, well, that didn't really cost him. But what it took for Junie to organize that, to utilize people that she knew, to go and get it, to make up the room for me, to, to order a shirt with our picture on it, that's thoughtfulness. That's a woman who fucks with you, who rocks with you, who rocks for you. And it doesn't make them perfect. It doesn't mean that they won't make mistakes. It doesn't mean that uh, they won't cheat on you. But it still shows you, now this girl rocks for me. And that doesn't mean it's going to last forever either. But that's the type of situation you want yourself in. Don't be a fool trying to get the 8, 9, and 10 and keep them and please them and you know, it's, don't waste your time, boy. Eight, nine to ten is for fun. Eight, nine to ten is for I can't believe I got a chance to hit that. <laughs> now, if you get an eight, nine, and ten who's really into you on your meat, then, then you good. You good. I'm not saying don't take it if you could get an eight, nine, and ten who's really into you. But the reality is that's probably not going to happen. Unless you're a, a 10. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if you're rich or super rich, there ain't much that uh, 8, 9, and 10 can do for you. And if she's an 8, 9, and 10, you ain't the only super rich or rich guy or wealthy guy that she's been with. After you, there'll be another. That's why all these rappers and athletes and all these guys, they're with the same girls. Because they're all eight, nines, and tens, and they, uh, they all have that attraction, and they all know they could get a super successful guy and rope them in because of the quality of, the, uh, of their looks. So, this week's Sunday sermon, six and a half, seven all the way. Peace. Like, subscribe, and share the video. Thanks. Are you not entertained? Hey.